Hi everyone, um, in this video guide I'll be uh, going through the uh, extended keyboard uh, which is on the uh, iPhone 6 Plus. Um, now I will point out that the extended keyboard is exclusively on the iPhone 6 Plus. Uh, it isn't available on the iPhone 6 uh, due to the smaller screen. So um, as I said the extended keyboard it's on the iPhone 6 Plus um, and obviously it's a new feature and there's keys on there that we haven't seen previously on uh, an iPhone keyboard. So I've already got some text wrote on the screen as we'll need this to uh, demonstrate their features. So if we start on the top row on the right hand side uh, just to the right of the letter P we can see a letter, uh, sorry we can see a left arrow or a right, and a right arrow. I'm not sure if that's the correct name but uh, that's what I'll refer to them as. If I press the left one, you can see that it moves the cursor either left or right. So you can precisely place where you want to next type a letter. Now, another feature that these left and right arrows have is when you enable the caps lock, which I'll do now, you just double tap the shift button. Uh, these then turn into a select tool. Now, previous to the extended keyboard, um, well, you can still do it if you want. You had to tap and hold on the screen, um, and then when you chose select, uh, you got some little drag handles appear, uh, and you could either drag left or right to select the word. Now, I found this bit it and miss. Um, I tended to either select either too much or too little of the word uh, and then when I went to correct it I either ended up not cho choosing the part that I wanted or I ended up deselecting the word altogether. Now as I said these left and right arrows they now perform a, a select f feature when, they enable, when we enable the caps lock so I've got the caps lock enabled so I'll show you because it's easier to demonstrate it than explain so if I press the left button there, you can see that the drag handles are now on and we can precisely select the whole word or a portion of the word. So for the purposes of this demo, I'll just leave the N and the E selected. Now I'll go on to the next button now, which is the could button, and I'll leave these letters selected because I'll need it to demonstrate. Now as you can see we've got the N and the E selected. Now if I press the little scissors button or the or it's called cut um, if I touch that you can see there that it's cut the N and the E out of the word. Now directly below the scissors is what looks like a little pen. Now this is a dedicated paste button and again we used to have to double tap on the screen and then choose paste from the there it is. We have to choose double tap and then we have to choose paste from the top in the little black bubble. Whereas now, if I just position that back, I can then click on the dedicated paste button and it'll paste the N and the E back in. So if I select the full word now, using the left and right arrows again, I can choose copy. Now, if I touch the paste button, you can see there that you can paste very fast. Now, underneath the paste button is a little adder that's turned around on itself. Now, that's the undo button. Now, that'll basically undo your last action or the action before that and so on. So, I'll demonstrate it because uh, it shows it off better. As you can see there, it's undoing all the pastes. So you can go back quite a way. If you've made a mistake a while back, and you can get back to where you want it to be. So that's, uh, that's the undo feature. Now, the next button we can see is uh, a capital B. Now, I'll just remove the word that we've got on the screen now. Now if I press that, 
you can see that it became selected is because the buttons changed right I'll just do that again so the button in question is just to the right of the little pen or the paste button press that and it'll turn white I'll just write a word again and as you can see now um, that button makes any text that you write uh, appear in bold now if we go on to the next line and I deselect the bold button again I'll just touch on it and you can see there the differences in the text the top one being bold and the bottom one being standard text now some of these keys uh, are not available well they're not selectable I should say uh, in all apps um, for example I think the bold button um, doesn't work in, mes in the messages app um, which I can understand because uh, the bold writing is dependent on your recipient's phone being able to receive it so I can understand why it isn't in there but uh, in apps such as notes or I can imagine in you know quite a lot of other apps uh, it would work um, now there is a button that I'm not quite sure what it is and it's directly above the uh, sorry uh, directly to the right of the scissors um, it's grayed out at present but if I select a word a part of a word it becomes selectable now if I press on it there it just doesn't seem to do anything so I can't understand what that button's for um, I've tried looking online to try and find out what it is and I can't for the life of me find out what it is I've no idea at all what it's called or what it does so um, if any of you uh, know what it's for and what it's uh, called uh, please put your answers on a postcard and let me know because uh, I've uh, no idea um, I think that covers it all for the extended keyboard I think I went through everything I need to do uh, so I hope you found the video useful thanks for watching goodbye